And we're talking with Bob Noble Jr., owner and driver of the Steel Superboat, which is getting ready for the 2015 season. JR, you had a very successful 2015. The race in Key West didn't go your way, as we know. But a uh, lot to talk about. Uh, maybe a brief recap of the season, what's coming up for 2015. But first of all, I want to talk to you about that great TV show that aired on NBC Sports Network that featured uh, SBI and the Steel Race Boat. Yeah, it turned out to be a fantastic show. Mike McInnes at uh, JM and Associates produced it. Steel sponsored it, and uh, it was an hour-long show. Uh, it just turned out fantastic. I mean, what a what an awesome uh, production. They, in fact, are coming to Cocoa Beach, Steel and JM uh, Associates, and uh, they're going to talk about future opportunities with more shows uh, for the 15th season. I guess they got really good ratings for that time slot. It worked really well for NBC Sports Network, thus uh, having them uh, wanting to discuss this more for this year. Yeah, somewhere uh, in the area up to 335,000 viewers were on there at one time. So uh, like triple or quadruple their uh, normal viewership for that time slot on NBC Sports. So yeah, it went really well. It was a really action-packed show, as you know, and you lived it, of course. He's was on in Key West. Uh, the season uh, was a great season for you overall, winning the national championship. Unfortunately, didn't go your way for Key West. Um, how about just a brief recap of Key West before we talk about the show? Yeah, last season was a great season. Uh, we won six out of the seven regular season races and finished second in one. So, yeah, we had a great run going. And then, uh, of course, the... Uh, my nemesis, uh, Key West, you know, uh, go down there and for the third year in a row in the Super Bowl class, uh, we're ahead. Uh, Wednesday's race, we won. Uh, unlike last year, which we won Friday's race, uh, the year before rather, last year we had a technical problem on Friday, but uh, a win and certain other things happening on Sunday, and we could still walk away with a national championship. So we were in the lead big lead we were cruising along uh, everything was going the way it was supposed to and then disaster struck and our drive fell off and then so you're going from uh, potentially winning a world championship to sinking yeah. well fortunately the crew uh, was out there the safety crew was out there to carry you real fast and I know that the television show that we just talked about had some great footage of what happened so you know as, uh, as tragic as that was and disastrous for the boat glad that everybody was okay yeah uh, big tuna and some of the support people there stepped right in and immediately uh, got a hold of us and uh, got us back up to shore we got on the crane so minimal damage it could have been a lot worse right. we in fact saved our drive so now we've uh, got the boat uh, the boat's been all winter up at uh, skater factory and uh, up there in Sagatuck. So we got it done. It's now down at TNT Marine. I'm going down tomorrow to give it uh, a test run. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how she goes and fix any minor little things left. And then we'll be ready for Cocoa Beach. First race of the year, Cocoa Beach. Uh, I know you're excited about the upcoming season. Tell us a little bit about Cocoa, uh, what your experience has been there and what you're looking forward to. Yeah, Cocoa Beach is a great venue. It's a lot of fun. Uh, big crowds come out to see the race. So it's action-packed. Uh, we're expecting a great boat turnout. Uh, the one thing about Coco uh, is that typically, not always, but uh, the vast majority of the times is this rough. Mm -hmm. Last year we raced in five, six footers. So it was uh, the roughest race we ran all season long. And it's great for the fans, but uh, it's hard on my back. <laughs> that kind of pounds you around a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Uh, but last year we had a little problem uh, during the race that we cured and we wound up winning the race. So, uh, yeah, it was a kickoff to a great season. We were hoping to do the same this year. Well, it's your second year with Mark as your throttle man. You had, a, as you said, six out of seven is a really impressive start considering it was your first year together. And I assume that with that experience, it'll be even bigger and better for you this year. Yeah, he does a great job under all conditions, but uh, he especially shines in the rough. So, uh, yeah, if it is rough there, uh, you know, a lot of boats are good in the rough, but uh, we'll certainly, I think, have an advantage. Well, congratulations again on winning the national championship and the great season. And uh, we're looking forward to 2015, and let's make it 7 out of 7 this year. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> All right, great.